you're looking at one of the best ever robot vacuums designed up until now in late 2022. Dreamis L10S Ultra represents the pinnacle of many years worth of development and besides cleaning the house, it can entirely clean and wash itself. Fully automated cleaning at home? Hell yeah! It's no longer mission impossible! Let's inspect! Hey! Really good to meet you, Michael is my name. Tech for all, this is where we inspect a lot of cool and fresh tech and we're gonna take care of discovering everything important about this body today. It's a robot vacuum and I know what some people would say. Why would you spend so much money on buying a robot vacuum when you can just take the regular conventional vacuum and a mop and you can clean your home and that's right. But imagine you live on a busy street in a busy town. You have to work 10 hours per day. You have kids, which you should take care of. You have pets at home and you should walk them from time to time. You need to cook meals. You need to take care of the house and stuff. And all of a sudden, no time for you. This is where technology, and especially smart home technology like this buddy, kicks in. This is the new coming from Dreamy, the L10S Ultra. And it's the second kind of super smart robot vacuum that I'm reviewing this year after the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. So this is just part of the assembly because the rest is really a big station which helps it to wash the mobs and automatically empty its dustbin entirely hands-free. So this is what this video is about to thoroughly test the Dreamy L10S Ultra. Like most of its competitors, all the gear for the Ultra setup arrives in one single box, which is heavier than the usual for robot vacuums, of course. It is indeed quite a big box, but therefore we have a lot of room for highlighting some of the key features, like the 3D navigation, the self-emptying system and the web mop design. I've opened the box from the top. The robot itself is in a separate box, so take it out together with the accessories assembly and then take out the main station. It's the heaviest component out of all because it hosts the self-emptying station and also the water tank mechanisms, which include the mop cleaning area, the tanks for clean and dirty water, as well as a spot to put the container with a cleaning solution. In terms of design, it's all sleek and stylish and while I'm a huge fan of Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, I do think the Dreamy model not only looks better, it gives the impression as if it is a few generations newer than the Roborock model. I really hope to see the very same trend when it comes to the performance. Here's the disposable dust bag, which is located approximately in the heart of the main station. It's replaceable and hidden behind this magnetic cover. The robots at the first sight looks not too different to the other L10 device that I've tested earlier this year. White color, which I so much missed with the latest Roborock Top Series. Somehow I always associate this color with clean surfaces and also masks dusts and fingerprints, something that is well notable on black and glossy surfaces. It comes with a high quality dustbin, maybe we can criticize the size, but filtration systems, including the high end HEPA filter, seem to be good. In the accessories box, you're gonna find two mop pieces, which are oscillating. There is a spare dust bag and multi-surface floor cleaner. Yes, this is yet another advantage of Dreamy's L10S Ultra because you actually install this part between the water tanks and it automatically doses the cleaning solution. The best news is that as soon as it gets empty, although not recommended by Dreamy, you could reuse the tank and use your own favorite floor cleaning liquid. Just as every other piece of tech we test here on the channel, very important to highlight the key hardware specifications and comment about them. Section power of the robot is 5,300 pascals, uses the so-called advanced AI action obstacle avoidance, has a few different types of operation. The dustbin is 350 milliliters, there's a main cleaning brush, the robot is equipped with a 5,200 milliampere hour battery, dual path mobbing system, and can be controlled by Alexa, Google Home and Siri. I would say all of the specs so far kick, you know what, I can't say the word because YouTube would think it's not family friendly language, but section power 5300 pascals, that's more even than the best rubber rock at the moment. Although in real life performance, I have the feeling both have sort of parity. In terms of navigation, 
laser navigation here on the front a lot of sensors, including RGB camera. Interestingly, Dreamy claimed that this robot has better orientation when there is light. Unfortunately, no LED for illumination, but I noticed that even in completely dark environments, it does a pretty good job about navigation. I think the biggest advantage here is what we have in terms of mopping. So we can take this out and it detects. Mop pads removed. We can put them back. It's going to be detected right away again. And you can see the movements. According to Dreamy, that's really effective according to me during the testing. That's been really phenomenal. Probably not as good as the oscillating mop on the ED Vac 2 Pro tested a few months ago. But I would say definitely shows really decent results, especially compared to Roborock S7 Max 5. And that's a great achievement. In uh, terms of other testing, let's do a quick setup and I'll show you more. The time you have to spend with the robot between setting up and being cleaning ready is brought to the possible minimums. You have to open the smartphone app, discover the robot. Here we actually have a choice. Could be that we use the Mi Home app or the Dreamy Home app. I've gone for the first choice because most of the smart gadgets at home are part of the Mi ecosystem. You simply follow the steps and introduce the robot to your home Wi-Fi, then make sure the base station is connected to the power, wait for a full recharge of the robot prior to the first usage and you're done! The base station will need you to add clean water into the corresponding tank and also to install the floor cleaning solution. Both are being automatically dosed and refilled and from within the app you can control whether the mop is going to be slightly dry or use more water and be extra wet. If you have wooden floors, make sure to start with the lowest grade, just in case. There also is the option to customize the cleaning. Some areas where the robot can dose more water and it can dose less for other areas. The sequence is customizable too. My usual rice test, spilling around 60 grams worth of rice grains. Checking how much out of that is going to be collected and this didn't turn to be a big challenge for the powerful Dreamy L10S Ultra. You notice that it returned almost everything that was on the floor and it's one of the best results we've seen recently. Since this is a rather artificial stressing, it means that in real life the robot is unlikely to skip or miss any dust or pieces of dirt. Confirmed by this aggressively built spot containing flowers, seeds and other nasty things, since I have no pets at home, I had to borrow some hair and it literally disappears. Speaking of hair, yes, the brush has detachable sides, which makes the hair removal process particularly easy. Apparently high carpets are not a problem at all. The dreamy robot can easily climb over obstacles up to 2 cm and in terms of orientation, smart enough to recognize danger in case you have some pets at home. I know, not likely to have a poo in the middle of the room, but who knows, sometimes nature calls. Of course, I was also very interested in the grade of mopping effectiveness. It's excellent. For a 3.7 kg weighing robot, it is definitely among the best mopping robots out there. And if I had to pick a winner between Dreamy L10S Ultra and Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, I would vote for the Dreamy device. These spinning pads seem to do a better job. And good news is that the main station takes good care of cleaning them and washing them from time to time, so it really is entirely hands-free operation. Also, together with the wet mopping, there's dry cleaning ongoing and the robot goes back to the station and it takes out all of the dust automatically. You can run the cleaning modes combined and as soon as the mop gets dirty or covers a specific area, it's gonna be washed so that the next section is gonna get proper treatment with clean cloth. Having a baby crawling at home all the time, I can confirm you can totally rely on Dreamy L10S for perfectly clean floors. On top of that, the cleaning speed is quite good, it needs less than a minute to cover a square meter, so cleaning the living room usually takes a few minutes less than what it is with the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. Software-wise, we again have a very strong implementation, a lot of AI capabilities including obstacle avoidance, carpet boost mode, self-care so that it doesn't fall down the stairs. You can do everything possible from within the app, increase or decrease the section power, choose the no-go zones, specify cleaning zones, do automation, update the firmware. It's part of the Xiaomi ecosystem, which means that software meets really high quality standards. 
Well, you wouldn't find the super advanced furniture recognition or noticing the junctions between the parquet pieces like the S7 Max V Ultra can do, but it is good enough to be trusted. If you're looking for more drawbacks, I could point to such based on the comparison to the best out there, for instance, no camera and no possibility to talk to your pets when you're not at home, and there's no light in the front to help the AI in darker areas. But that's it, and you wouldn't hear from me about any other drawbacks, at least I couldn't discover such during testing. If you could, maybe you can list them in the comment section below the video. So yes, this costs really a whole lot of money, but seriously undercuts the market leader being uh, the Roborock S7 Max V, the uh, Roomba alternatives, the Ecovax D-Bot X1 and similar, and it actually undercuts them by far. Still, if the price seems to be too high for you, maybe you can check some of the other dreamy products because I've reviewed on the channel the L9 series and I think they still continue to be the best value ratio in case you're searching for a smart, <laughs> capable, mopping capable robot vacuum. Well, that's been everything about today's video. I really hope that you learned something new and you got to get the information that you were looking for. In case of questions, I'll be able to help. Comments are down below the video. As usual, link to the product, more information about how you can buy it and also how to support the channel is posted in the video description area. I'm Michael, happy to serve you with more cool tech inspections in case you subscribe to the channel, so make sure to come back soon. Have a great day, see you, bye!